Hello everyone. So, first of all, I'd like to say sorry for not being able to post for a week plus two days. <coughs> Actually, we all have got quarantine because of Corona. We all got Corona, the whole family. And uh, in the beginning, the health was really bad, bad cold and all that. Then, because we all quarantine, we all together, it's again a bit difficult to you know, focus on the videos and, uh, you know, find like a peaceful moment and just record a video. But uh, today I think I'm ready to do a video. And um, the question is, why am I dreaming nightmares and why don't I sleep well at night? So uh, in this video we will use black and white uh, tarots and uh, tarot cards and we will try to see why in your case you sleep so bad and why in your case you're dreaming nightmares. So usually uh, without cards we know that our dreams reflect our wishes and our fears. Also they sometimes can send us messages of what we need to understand about our life right now. It's like tarot reading, but in dream symbols. And for nightmares, I'd say we should do a dream interpretation, perhaps not really a tarot reading. And of course, I do dream interpretation online, on internet, just Google. What does this mean? What does that mean? And you know, you get the idea after reading several, you know, interpretations. Um, some people say that you might dream bad dreams if, for example, your house is haunted or someone um, wishes you bad or something like that, like basically black magic. So it, you, you might feel in your dreams and you might sleep bad if, for example, you know, you went to a place where uh, there were negative people and you kind of picked up something, you know, psychically negative something. It can also be that. But I am not an expert, okay? I'm not an expert in that. Um, it really depends. Depends on the feeling, depends on, you know, every individual dream. So let's let's have a look at this reading. Let's pull <clears throat> some cards and see what does this experience mean in your case right now? Okay, or maybe what things that you're experiencing in your waking life, what does that dream want you to focus on, to understand or, you know, things like that. If you'd like to participate, please, Think about your dream and about your experience at night and just choose one deck and take your time, please. Have you chosen? So let's start with our Deck number one. So slide and shadow tarot. Very nice deck. Artistic deck. So why are you having dreams at night uh, nightmares at night? Why are you dreaming what you're dreaming at night? Oh, you can see her broken heart, the Hierophant and Princess of Pentacles. Well, Hierophant usually can uh, represent some sort of authority or structure. Sometimes it's something spiritual. It can be your yeah, spirit guide it wants to tell you something. And, you know, of course, the broken heart is basically being in a situation where it's really, really sad. You know, it's really sad because um, nothing can be done about it, that sort of 
feeling is that like nothing can be done about it and it's just something very sad it can be separation it can be maybe spiritually for example you went against yourself you for example uh, betrayed your values or betrayed your beliefs you know and you did something spiritually illegal so to say for yourself um, of course these cards can talk about problems in married life for example problems in in your you know problems with your partner your spouse and uh, maybe what they said or something like that. So it's something to Prince of Pentacles can also talk about messages. Um, for example, uh, someone said something or you heard of something and basically that wasn't very pleasant, uh, that, that sort of situation. So um, that sort of thing, something really hurt you and something really disturbed you. And it can be something on a spiritual level, it can be something to do with um, mundane level, but with structures, social structures like church, you know, religion, family, you know, beliefs and uh, things like that. You know, in some cases, I don't see like bad black magic here. Of course, the Hierophant is a spiritual card. It could mean something like that. But I feel like it's not aggressive. It's more guilty. It's more, you know, like just weak and sad, not strong and evil. You know, these cards are here. Why... Okay, so that's why you're dreaming what you're dreaming. How can you go about the situation to, let's say, release yourself from the situation? Okay. Well, it shows like a natural uh, healing happening. So, of course, you need to to be sad, to cry, and to accept that pain or that sadness or that uh, conflict <laughs> that's happening. And basically, I think you have to cry your eyes out. You have to admit it. You have to feel it. You have to relive it, experience it, that negative emotion. And then, of course, Ace of Cups is maybe um, you will start feeling this you know, kind of calmness and just goodness in you. Like, there will be no negativity anymore. So you will start feeling this just um, some sort of goodness inside of you. This is basically your heart. This is your spiritual uh, spirit, you know, you can say. And uh, it's very humble. It's very who you really are. So you kind of calm down and you you accept everything and you become who you really are. And of course the sun is uh, positivity and clarity and, and good things, you know. So let's say it's a bad moment right now. You know, this card can also talk about illness, maybe corona, maybe something, something, maybe someone else got corona and you're worried. But, you know, the healing is there, you know, the healing and clarity is go it's going to clean up, you know, those things. So that sort of situation is here. And I think just uh, follow your heart and let yourself um, kind of go with the flow in a way that what you want to do, do what you want to do, what you naturally want to do it until be like clean and nice later. But it's important to not lie to yourself, to uh, face it, whatever that is, pain or fear or worry, you know, the acceptance and kind of admitting that, yes, yes, there is a problem. And when you admit it, then it kind of becomes like a healing. After that, once you admit it, there, there becomes like a sense of peace, you know, a sense of peace. No one can hurt you anymore because... You're kind of not resisting to it. So this is our 
deck number one. <clears throat> Let's have a look at our deck number two, Sun and Moon Tarot. Why are you dreaming those nightmares? We have Six of Cups, ple cups Pleasure. Well, it's a sexual card, to be honest. If uh, maybe it's sexually related dreams or it has something to do with your partner, lover, past, maybe what happened in the past, in childhood. Maybe this dream is taking you back to that childhood, that time. So it can be many things, brother, sister, kids past, childhood, sexuality, um, attraction, things like that, perversion sometimes. Okay, so why are you dreaming what you're dreaming? Okay, we have the sun, kind of also like a couple, kids. And literally speaking, what it looks like here, it's a good situation, then bad situation, and then kind of balance. So because we had six of cups before, now we have the sun, and both of them have a couple. Maybe it's something to do with your partner, with your love relationship, with a friendship. It doesn't have to be love relationship. It can be friendship. It can be like siblings relationship, colleagues, something but a very good relationship, yeah? And this Five of Swords, it's like a uh, Five of Swords card comes after this, like showing that betrayal, some sort of betrayal happened, something happened bad to that relationship, most likely breakup, most likely someone left someone, someone offended someone, someone betrayed someone, you know, and it's a very hurtful feeling. It's like anger, it's um, hatred, it's, you know, these things. So something has been done to that relationship well and our temperance is just uh, i think it's the process some sort of process of uh, assimilation digestion healing you know how your subconscious is digesting this experience how it's basically making some sort of conclusion out of what you experienced and maybe you're thinking about it maybe you're feeling things maybe they're suppressed it can be things like that so this card here, it's just everything gets mixed up and um, and what you get in your dream is the result of all that mix up. So, what to, can you do to actually solve this problem so that you don't have these nightmares again? Nine of Cups happiness, Three of Cups... Eight of Pentacles. Well, it says it's very important to kind of be busy, busy and distract yourself. Actually, might sound surprising, but try to do everything that you love to do. Try to feel pleasure more. Uh, in this case, enjoy yourself, spoil yourself, just be lazy, be, be self-loving, do what you love. And of course, Three of Cups is friends and surround yourself with people that uh, love and respect you. <clears throat> surround yourself with your friends, call some of them, you know, meet online, whatever. Um, socialize, so to say, um, with people who give you pleasure, like... Maybe same interests are involved, whatever. It can be attend a party, maybe with family members or whatever, friends. And basically keep doing it, don't stop doing it. You have to keep yourself more around people. Keep yourself more around others. And um, don't be lonely. Don't overthink. And you need that routine constantly, you know, that happiness it keep it should keep going <laughs> maybe also uh find a job or a hobby that uh involves um socializing like minded people and basically being happy and it has to become a routine like not once but like it has to become a lifestyle you know so that it's you get it in big amounts maybe an extroverted person i don't know but you need someone like you to 
make you feel again strong and loved and confident and like belonging somewhere. So it's just positivity and good emotions. That sort of situation. Okay, let's have a look at our deck number three. Deck number three is Hermetic Tarot. Looks like it's very hard to read this deck, but actually I just read like right away. It kind of works okay like that. Whoops. Okay. Why are you dreaming what you're dreaming? Why are you dreaming these dreams, these nightmares that basically make you wake up at night and, and disturb your sleep? Why are you dreaming what you're dreaming? Okay, we have the foolish man, the fool, five of swords, and the emperor. Well, I think uh, these cards might, uh, these are many things. This can be, I can see many stories in these three cards. First, it can be a family, some sort of situation, dispute, guilt over a child, blaming the husband, the man, blaming someone over something. Uh, maybe there is a clash between a child and the husband in the family. The other meaning can be... Um, wanting to rebel, wanting to rebel, um, not liking uh, the rules, not liking maybe it's rules that someone um, kind of puts you in, or it can be rules that, for example, your partner <coughs> kind of controls you, tries to control you, imagining that they're trying to control, or maybe they really are. Also... It can be in general some sort of outside influence like work, government, like something, the feeling that someone is trying to, uh, you know, keep you in a cage and make you follow the rules that you don't believe in or maybe it's too suffocating, something like that. And, and there is a sense that you want to rebel, you want to break free from that. So, so we have that sort of feeling, you know, here, like wanting maybe to start something new and being uh, put back into something old, not being able to break through. So it, maybe you keep having dreams of being controlled, uh, being put in cage, not being able to do things for yourself. Uh, like being led instead of leading or for example being disoriented in the dream in the sleep um, not being able to drive a car for example for yourself not being able to find some place by yourself you know like you need someone's help or or that person actually who's controlling you is there to not let you do something so we have uh, that sort of situation. It can also be something like, um, you know, your youthful you and your old you uh, fighting with each other, you know, over like a part of you wants to be free and, you know, young and behave like a young person, naive and carefree and confident and wanting to do new things but a part of you is squashed by responsibilities and um, duties and not being able to do that so something like that now uh, what can you do to get through this problem how can you how can you go about this so the card that wants to come out is the High Priestess. Of course, it's spirituality. I would say High Priestess means... Uh, for some people, it can literally mean tarot. Uh, ask your tarot. If you read tarot, be with tarot. Tarot will show you the way. You know, if you don't use tarot, it can still mean some sort of occult science, spiritual books, 
spiritual knowledge because there is this um, saying that you know you can uh, imprison my body but you cannot imprison my soul and so basically uh, everyone is free even people in, who are imprisoned and people who are not free they actually are free because their mind is free as long as our mind is free we are free and spirit no one can take spirituality away from you your connection with you know your true self and you know things like that that's the real power and physical limitations are just you know physical limitations um mind is more powerful that sort of feeling is here how can you break through well, it's um well, the most simple meaning is money, money, money. So it can be financial independence, you know, becoming rich, becoming, uh, having a business, having your, you know, money is power in this case, money is power. If you gain wealth and um, goodies and all these things, some sort of material stuff, um, like even education, for example, licenses, you know, um, it can be not necessarily cash, but it can be something like uh, education or um, some sort of uh, license or permission or diploma or something like that. So it can be like uh, um, something that will give you power in this situation. Also, what can I say? It's, it can be, yeah, science, for example. The more you know, the more you are powerful and free. <clears throat> so it can be computer knowledge, can be technology, can be anything like that that could potentially uh, empower you, you know. So it might point to... You know, things like that. Um, okay. So this is our reading number three. Let's move on to our reading number four. Our deck number four. Uh, Bianco Nero Tarot deck. So, um, why are you dreaming what you're dreaming? Why? Why these dreams? Why these nightmares? Why? Why? What does it mean? We have the wishes, we have the success, and we have basically l mm, friendship or some relationship. So basically what we have, we have lots of uh, success in love and maybe you've got a new boyfriend or girlfriend and it could be you want to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. But for me, it seems that you already have, you experienced some success in a relationship. Maybe someone flirted with you and you feel like, victory the sense of victory like i've done it I, I did it you know i did it i i got myself a, a bo boyfriend or a girlfriend and basically your dreams came true and you're very happy so these cards are basically good um sometimes can indicate that you want a relationship so bad that uh, it's so desperate that you're dreaming of some sexual dreams or some crazy dreams related to that person so it can be a very strong wish and very strong attraction and very strong focus on that person you know overall this um, can be the other person also feels similar feelings so it's kind of even stronger than it doesn't look like a nightmare, but it could be that you're dreaming something like a nightmare. 
although your wish is positive. With Nine of Cups, though, we could have a little bit of lust and pleasure and a little bit uh, too much of wanting. So it's really like just pleasure, you know, not pleasure. Um, if you... Sometimes Christian people, uh, the the religiously, they are, how to say, they are taught to, to feel guilt. Um when they feel pleasure or pleasure and guilt are somehow connected. So if you have very strong religious beliefs implanted in you, maybe a brainwashed since your childhood that any pleasure is bad, you know, once you get what you want, once you're experiencing pleasure, you might start dreaming nightmares, you know, that you are going to hell or that devil is you know tempting you you know and things like that so it's like self sabotage you know you want something but at the same time when you get it you feel guilty and you want to kind of get rid of it because you feel like that you're doing a sin and you're bad so that's the negative um, part about these cards what can you do to solve this problem so that you don't dream these things anymore or that you learn the lesson, so to say? Okay, so the, this car talk about control, yeah, about discipline and control and take a break from people who make you feel crazy pleasure or crazy attraction or crazy something. So the strength can show that something is a lot, something is oh, very strongly coming at you. And Ten of Pentacles can be that experience related with people. Maybe it's you know, this, that lover or that person that you know you dreamt about maybe. That pleasure is related to people, to maybe even a family. That person is from your family, or it's distant relative or a neighbor, someone around the house, you know. So this card talks basically about taking a break from being there, taking a break from thinking about that, um, trying to take a break from that situation that is basically. <clears throat> that is making you feel these feelings, you know, that you cannot control and that are too much, for example. So, and, of course, this relationship sometimes can be related even with, to a pet. Just, uh, I started thinking about an animal that maybe you want, you are dreaming of a pet, a, an animal you love, you know, it's also a relationship. So, so it's something to do with calming yourself down and basically maybe just meditating, breathing, doing something calm and uh, calming your mind down. So things like that. Also stop doing whatever you were doing, slow down. Uh, it can be that there's also a lockdown situation with Four of Swords that you're stuck in your house and, for example, you cannot meet the person you love because you're being held captive, you know, being like hostage in your own house because of the situation. So it can show that this is why you're getting it. This is why you're getting it. And then the advice is to get out of there to get out of there or just somehow find some spiritual technique to refocus and, you know. Yes, well, I asked what to do about this if you, let's say, um, locked up somewhere uh, with people like family. 
so this advice for you to maybe go out somewhere go out with your kids or go out with your pets or you know something kind of maybe you can afford it maybe you can manage it uh, go for a drive or go for a walk or you know Usually with Nine of Pentacles, it could mean going somewhere expensive, like buying an expensive ticket and going for some vacation or some other place, you know. So maybe it talks that you really need to get away. So this is our reading number four. Now, I know I'm kind of confused here. Uh, what's really happening? Because the cards are definitely good, even too good, and then... Uh, when I ask for advice, they're showing some sort of um, being stuck somewhere with your grandparents, parents, I don't know. And then it can be that the stuckness makes you want to meet someone. And and these cards actually can say just, you, you can, it's, a, it's possible for you to work this out. If you try, you can go somewhere. So this is our reading about nightmares and dreams and I don't want to make anything too dramatic here. Um, I don't think in these there is any black magic involved or anything like that. Um, it's just normal things in life that are thoughts and experiences that kind of build up and when we really try to suppress or don't understand Dreams kind of help us to see them, uh, to look at it from the, from the side, you know. And once we understand the dream, usually the problem gets resolved on its own, you know. It's just showing, for example, that you are facing this and this, and that's what it is. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful day. Bye-bye.